There's Luna on top of my bed. I watched a YouTube video today that got me to sign up for a nearby gym. I'll share this YouTube video with you in the description and also at the end of the video as a link. But basically this guy was saying in your 20s and 30s, you want to push yourself physically. He said you don't want to stay indoors just isolated by yourself all the time. You want to be out around a sea of strangers and interacting with strangers as well. An example he gave was if you're in line for coffee or whatever, then talk to the person in front of you, talk to the person behind you. Just be comfortable talking to strangers. I've actually tried this out, talking to strangers, and I find that when I do, I get a huge boost in energy because these friendly interactions with strangers just really uplifts me, even if it's super brief. Get mentally and physically strong, take economic responsibility for your household, get out of the house as much as possible, try and find things where you're building something in the agency of others, I don't care, every day you should be around strangers. Every day, I don't care if it's work, I don't care if it's church, I don't care if it's nonprofit, a softball league, the gym, classes, whatever it is. You need to be around a massive number of strangers and finding reasons to have bump off of them and find economic and personal and platonic opportunities as often as possible. We are a social species. Get to a city, get around a lot of people, get out there every day, start making money, and become really strong. So I thought, what can I do to kill two birds with one stone about pushing myself physically and also getting out of the house? So I was initially thinking of trying some spin classes, which is just stationary cycling classes. But a big feature for me that I really need on a snowy day like today is to have underground parking. So I found a nearby gym that has underground parking and also has some cycling classes. So we'll see how they are. They could be super boring and I, I may not like them, but I'll try it for two weeks and see how I find it. Also, the goal will be to go to the gym about five days a week. So we'll see how it goes. I'll cancel it in two weeks if I find that it's not worth it. By the way, I'm not going to be that guy filming himself at the gym like Sam Sulek. My own home, I don't mind filming because that's in the privacy of my own space, but I'm not going to be that guy talking to the camera or filming myself doing workouts. See you tomorrow. 1% better every day, baby. Now Mochi expects to go into the garden after a meal. Very demanding. Tigger and Mochi are curious about Luna's room. <laughs> mm -hmm. I gave Mochi food and her dessert and wiped her teeth with a cloth and <laughs> she still wants more. <laughs> Piggy, 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 mochi. Piggy, 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 mochi. <laughs> I can never get enough of mochi sleeping pose videos. <laughs> She's so cute in her piggy, piggy pose. So I'm going to try and let Luna out a bit of her room and not just my room but maybe interact with Mochi and Tigger. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep a close eye and monitor how it goes and uh, if things go awry I'll have to put her back in but let's see. Come out, come out. She thinks she's a bit scared. Luna is exploring the house, although she's already been in this room, so I guess 
that's why she's comfortable going in a bit. But uh, Mochi is downstairs, so I think she's scared to go downstairs. And she's roaming around on the second floor. Oh my, it is. It is snowing quite a lot right now. They said four centimeters, but at this rate, this is gonna hit four centimeters really quickly. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's way more than that. Luna's a bit scared that the doors are open, so she's not safe. <laughs> Luna! She was on my chair lying there for a long time when I was here, but <laughs> Mochi is checking out Luna's room for the first time and Luna is over there <laughs> hiding Mochi is here, and little does she know that Luna is right there. I mean, she didn't seem too interested in Luna, actually. But... <laughs> Luna! 